Are you ready to take streaming serious in 2024? I've been managing over 100 streamers throughout the past year, and I'm going to be teaching you everything that I've learned from working with them. This video isn't a guide on how to stream. If you need to learn all of the basics on streaming, refer to this guide here, but this video is for those who are struggling to grow on Twitch. The biggest problem with live streaming on Twitch is the fact that they do not have any form of an algorithm that will recommend your streams. Meaning, unless you already have viewers, Twitch will rarely show your streams to new people, leaving you in the dreaded one to two viewer loop. So let's fix that problem and go through step by step everything you need to know in order to go from zero to 100 viewers on Twitch. And if you are interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, stay at the end of this video where I will be explaining more. Step number one, you need to set up the fundamentals. Branding is an essential part of streaming because of how saturated the space is. A lot more people want to be a streamer now than ever before, but you cannot let that motivate you. Instead, you need to develop your branding to be unique so you stand out in the emerging crowd of new streamers. Branding is everything about your stream, from your profile picture, bio, and even your personality. I hate to be the voice of reality, but I'd rather tell you what you need to hear versus what you want to hear. With that being said, you need to look at yourself and streams objectively. That just means looking at it from a viewer's perspective and taking all of your own personal feelings out of the equation. You should not be streaming if you are not talking, as no one wants to watch a silent streamer. Even if you have no one watching you, when new people come and check you out and find out that you're not talking, they will find someone else to watch. Do not let this demotivate you because being entertaining is an obtainable skill and anyone can work on being more entertaining on a day-to-day -day basis. Constant self-evaluation along with talking for the entire stream is the easiest way to be more entertaining on a stream-to-stream -stream basis. Along with your personality, your profile picture, bio, and panel sections should give viewers a reason to want to watch you. Do not pay some random GFX artist because you'll get some AI-generated art that looks like everyone else's. Instead, use softwares like Photoshop or Canva to create something that is unique for yourself. If you have absolutely no artistic talent whatsoever, use Fiverr to get the best quality GFX work for the lowest cost. Step number two, you need to set up a rare streaming schedule. What does a rare streaming schedule mean? Basically, it means streaming less frequently, such as once a week, so you can focus your efforts on platforms that will actually create an audience to watch your streams. Because like I said in the beginning, if you're streaming to no one, it's only hurting you, not helping. To combat this, it's essential to stream once a week and drive all of your traffic to one specific place on one specific day at a specific time every single week. That way you can leverage your entire audience that you do have and use these viewers to start to reach new viewers directly on the platform. And it'll help you escape that one to two viewer loop. If you have a community size of 10 people and you stream every day, you'll more than likely average less than two viewers because your community can watch you whenever they want and will typically find other things to occupy their time replacing you. Whereas if you only streamed once a week, it's much more likely that all of your 10 community members can make it to that specific stream. Then you'll be much higher on any category you stream in, allowing you to reach more viewers directly on the platform. The more your entire community size starts to grow, the more frequent you could start to stream without it hurting your average viewers. Step number three, create an audience on algorithm-based platforms. The main benefit to joining my management program is the fact that I help your algorithms on platforms where it matters, such as TikTok and YouTube Shorts. These platforms both have algorithms that'll automatically put your content in front of new viewers. That means if you're uploading bad content, they'll still show it to some users until they realize that it's doing bad. To give an example, most TikToks will get about 200 views before TikTok realizes if they wanna push that video further or shelf it, meaning stop all the traffic that's coming to that video. You can not only use this to test what content of yours is entertaining, but more importantly to reach new viewers directly on the platform and then you can work on funneling this traffic directly to your live streams like i said before and i'll say it again twitch nor any streaming platform really will put viewers in front of your streams therefore you need to take this action into your own hands and post your content on these other platforms to reach new potential viewers then once you're getting views on these other short form platforms all you need to do is work on funneling this traffic to your live streams then you'll have an audience for your streams ready for your streams and you'll never have to worry about streaming to one to two viewers this is because you have the fundamental setup to attract viewers you're reaching new viewers on other platforms and they know exactly when they can find your next stream because of your strict schedule. Following these three steps will ensure your growth with live streaming. And again, I hate to be the voice of reality, but if you're not growing, you are doing one of these three steps wrong. You may be thinking, what is the benefit of joining your management program if you just told me everything that you need to know and everything that you learned from working with all of these people? While yes, I just told you everything that you need to know. However, in my management program, I work with you a bit more directly to help you figure out exactly what you were doing wrong. You could ask me anytime for advice and I will tell you exactly what you are doing wrong and what you need to change in order to start growing. On top of all of that, I have multiple high follower accounts on TikToks, Twitter, formerly known as X, YouTube, Instagram, etc. that I will use to engage and comment on all of your posts, boosting your algorithm and helping your content get exposed to new potential viewers, as well as helping you work on that funnel to help you direct all of this new traffic to your streams. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you've never seen any of my content before, I have a lot of videos related to marketing, specifically in this streaming space. Marketing has been my full-time job since I was 14. However, YouTube has always been a huge passion of mine, and that's exactly why I started this channel, to help you guys grow with my marketing knowledge while also fulfilling my YouTube dreams. I have what most would consider a rough upbringing, and I'm going to tell my full life story when I reach 100,000 subscribers. I do not want sympathy for what I've had to go through. I just want to use it as a learning experience for anyone watching to show you that no matter what obstacles life throws at you, with hard work and dedication, you can change your life for the better. Again, thank you a lot.